The universe is packed with beautiful, terrifying or crazy things here and there. Space is such a massive unknown that all struck us with every discovery. Like, can you imagine a giant almond monolith? Are there massive clouds of liquor floating about in the universe? What's the deal with the spoon we discovered on Mars? Yes, deep space is alive with curiosities, quirky things and a terrifying hodgepodge, despite its inky, impenetrable blindness. So stay tuned as we bring you the most terrifying discoveries of the universe. Hello everyone, welcome to Space Discoveries. Subscribe to the channel for every single detail about the discoveries in the vastness of space. Also, do not forget to hit that bell icon for new updates. Having said that, let's get started. Starting with the hexagon of Saturn, the surprising uniform hexagon shape that rests atop the ringed planet's North Pole has confused astronomers since the Voyager spacecraft first sashayed past Saturn in 1981. Its sides are around 14,500 kilometers long, which is longer than the Earth's diameter. The Cassini mission in 2006 discovered that the hexagon changes color from a faint blue to a flaming gold. Nobody knows exactly what's going on. Such geometric patterns, according to an Oxford University team, can arise when two spinning fluid bodies move at different speeds. The explanation, according to a Harvard study, comes from deep within the globe. In the form of deep zonal jets, thousands of kilometers underground, where pressure is tens of thousands of times higher and the Earth's rotation as topography forms bizarre patterns, in reality, it's a bit of a puzzle. Next, we have fast radio blasts. Researchers have been observing highly powerful, brilliant, repeating radio signals from an unknown source billions of light years beyond the Milky Way's edge since 2007. Scientists have been baffled by these rapid radio bursts, or FRBs, which last milliseconds and are attributed to merging black holes or hints from distant technologically adept civilizations. To be visible at such a distance, they must release as much energy in a fraction of a second as our sun releases in almost a century. On one day in August 2017, the burst FRB 121102 repeated itself 93 times, presumably indicating a fast revolving neutron star emitting extraterrestrial Morse code. Aliens are involved. Next, the spooky moon from Mars scientists looking for signs of life on Mars have used a variety of esoteric techniques, such as interpreting the flow patterns of long dry riverbeds and blasting rocks with lasers to determine their chemical composition. However, the solution was right in front of our eyes. Curiosity Rover took a picture of what seemed to be an abandoned spoon. Does it imply the presence of a super loving society that has existed for a long time? We can't be certain. In any case, it's a powerful image. Many people are also concocting other theories, such as that it's the work of aliens who are nearby, monitoring us, but we can't see them. Moving on to the next, Bling World, 55 Cancer E. A very bright exoplanet is thought to be completely comprised of a crystallized diamond. If you were to buy one as the ultimate interplanetary accessory, it would cost you around 27 nonillion dollars, which is more money than the world has ever seen. The planet is twice the size of our planet, with eight times the mass and a trillion times the flex value, and was reportedly generated when one of two stars in a binary system began to cannibalize each other placing its carbon core under immense heat and pressure. Next, the Devil's Planet, or the planet from hell. In 2007, astronomers were enthralled by the discovery of Gliese 581, an Earth-like exoplanet situated just over 20 light years distant in the constellation Libra. Gliese 581 orbits a benign red dwarf star and may, in all probability, harbor liquid water. Unfortunately, Gliese 581 appears to be tidally locked, which means no side always faces the sun, and the other always points to the inky darkness of space, much to our surprise. As a result, one half of the formerly promising planet, now scorching hot, while the other is cold. The tiny strip around the edge, where it's neither too hot nor too cold, might theoretically be home to life. However, this is simply hypothetical. In any case, the property values on that day would be crazy. Up next, Nebula Cocktail, a huge cloud 1,000 times the diameter of the solar system, 58 quadrillion miles distant in the constellation of Aquila, has enough ethyl alcohol to fill 400 trillion pints of beer. This is thrilling, not only because it seems like a delightful gathering, 
Alcohol, on the other hand, is an organic substance. And this raises the intriguing potential of life existing elsewhere in the universe. Best of all, the cloud looks like to be made up of ethyl formate, a chemical that contributes to the flavor of raspberries. It would be wonderful to go there one day. Next, we got Tabby's star here. When Louisiana State University astronomer Tabitha Boyajian first saw this object, nearly one and a half thousand light years distant in the constellation Cygnus, she realized something was wrong. At odd and irregular periods, the star, then known by its romantic official designation KIC 846285, was fading by up to a fourth of its brightness. What's the big deal about that? The brightness of a faraway star dims with time. When orbiting bodies such as planets pass between it and us, for example, normal fading on the other hand is consistent and predictable. Tabby's star dims at seemingly random and irregular periods. Some have speculated that this indicates extraterrestrial activity, such as a sophisticated alien society building a gigantic Dyson sphere around the entire star to harvest its energy. Tabitha, on the other hand, is more cautious, claiming that the star is most likely being partially shadowed by more mundane things, such as the remains of a shattered moon. As a result of Tabby's discovery, scientists have discovered several other dipper stars whose light dims at inexplicable intervals. Edward Schmidt, a writer and professor of astronomy at the University of Nebraska, Lincoln, has spotted 21 of them enthusiastically remarking that they are all around the same age and mass as the sun, adding validity to the hypothesis that they are tiny green men. Extraterrestrial intelligence is a low probability answer, he continued, but it is a possibility. SETI researchers should be turning to the stars in their hunt for extraterrestrial intelligence. Next is a colossal space reservoir. A quasar may be found 12 billion light years distant. A black hole, 20 billion times the mass of our sun, resides within this quasar. The black hole belches out as much energy as 1,000 trillion suns as a byproduct of its food, consuming inconceivable amounts of dust and gas. A massive reservoir of genuine water vapor, storing around 140 trillion times the amount of water in all of the Earth's seas, is one expression of all that chemistry. That's stunning and horrifying all at the same time. Then there's the rogue glow world. Untethered from its parents, a highly peculiar planet known as SIMP JU01365663 0933473 has been discovered wandering around 200 light years away. It's not just a large planet, but it's also magnetic, with a mass about 13 times that of Jupiter. The field has a fight intensity 4 million times that of Earth. So it's no surprise that this renegade world is gathering a lot of attention as it meanders across the Milky Way alone. Finally, Zrybilski's star arrived. Since the 1960s, the strangest star, also known as HD 101065, has been investigated for its strange chemical makeup. Juan Anthony identified it after seeing strontium and all 15 rare Earth elements, as well as short-lived elements, including Neptunium, Plutonium, and Curium. These should have long since burnt out, given the star has been existing for millions of years. So what is the situation? Traditional astronomers think the rare elements are transported to the surface on a conveyor system propelled by magnetic fields and radiation pressure from deep within the star. Otherwise, the star, which is essentially a planet that has been consumed, is likely to be rich in rare elements. What could go wrong if those radioactive materials were placed there by a nearby civilization? Much like some crazy dreamers on Earth advocated sending our nuclear waste towards the sun. And for those who stick around to the end, here's a bonus fact. The genuine shooting star. Hypervelocity stars, or genuine stars, are hurtling across space at millions of miles per hour, not meteors. Why are they in such a rush? According to cosmologists, when a binary star system is devoured by the supermassive black hole in the galaxy's center, one is eaten while the other is spat out at terrifying speeds of up to one-third the speed of light. Approximately 1,000 of these hurtling monsters have been discovered so far by science. So what are your thoughts? Are there any more terrible and disturbing space things you can think of? Please let us know in the comment section. Also, you can add any trivia if you already know about shocking discoveries of the universe. Having said that, that's it for now. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, then don't forget to press that thumbs up button and also that hot red subscribe button as well. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace.